Hey, happy day before Thanksgiving. Um, I wanted to come on and talk about conflict and the holidays. So you're probably out prepping today. Maybe you're headed to the grocery or you're coming back from the grocery or like me, I just put the turkey in because we have a Wednesday Thanksgiving celebration and um, we're all thinking about that. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what conflict looks like at the holidays. And so with Thanksgiving, there's some of you've already celebrated and you're kind of just making a week of it. and um, so I have two big ideas, self-observation and some conflict strategies. So in this series I've been talking about, I'll put links in the comments about the four, but we've been talking a lot about self-observation and self-awareness. And when we go into a family holiday situation, we are talking about a host's expectations, old scripts, and we're comparing it to memories and nostalgia that is fuzzy and sometimes unrealistic. So um, basically, everything just got really intense and a wee bit unrealistic. So when we're working with families and holidays, it takes... Um, it just takes a lot. It takes a lot of self-awareness and maturity, and it can be it can be a real challenge. So, this time with family is a really good time to observe yourself. I'm going to put a link in the comments of the four posts and the different ways you can observe yourself and the different Enneagram triads and their kind of typical responses. So, knowing your Enneagram number is really helpful to predict what you might do because it helps you see why you might do things. And when you understand why you do something, that really gives you a lot of power to change. So in the self-reflection, you can prepare in kind of healthy ways for some events that may or may not happen, but may typically happen because you've been with your family before. Um, but if you're prepared in a healthy way, you're much more likely to respond in a healthy way. Um, so I'm going to give you some conflict strategies. So for everybody, no matter what your Enneagram type is, I don't care what your personality is, who your family is, here are some really helpful tips to handling conflict in the holidays. So when you're faced with conflict, slow down. Just slow down. You can take a moment and breathe when you're faced with that crazy thought from a family member or an accusation or that question that just really touches on the thing that you don't want to talk about, you can just take a breath and you can decide is right now when I'm up to my elbows and mashed potato preparation, I'm going to be the healthiest moment to engage in this conversation. I don't know, maybe it is, but take the moment to intentionally decide that. So to slow down and take a breath. Don't avoid the conflict, but decide purposefully how you're going to deal with it. Is it right now? Is this something I can just overlook? Or is it later when, hey, we're on a walk after supper or we're doing dishes and you want to bring it back up? So make intentional choices and don't just respond and react super fast. And here's the thing. If you do react, there's a do-over. You can just say, you know what? That wasn't helpful. I'm really sorry, I just reacted. Um, I don't wanna talk about this right now, um, or I do wanna talk about it later, but now isn't the moment. And be honest, be honest about what you need and really be aware of what other people's needs. If somebody is saying to you, but I wanna talk about it right now, then you can say, you know what, I want to engage with you, but I can't right now because of X, Y, and Z. So can we do this at this time and make that person, person feel really heard, but also share your need that I can't do it right now, or it's probably not gonna go well. And you can just be honest about that. Say, we can talk about this, but it might not go well. Um, so those are my two big helpful things. Just really slow down and be aware of yourself. And if you really want to grow, um, take five minutes at the end of the day and kind of reflect. How did I think about things? How did I feel about things? How did I respond to things? Why, why do I think that I did that? If you weren't aware in the moment, come back later and, and just think about what are the reasons that I may or may not have said those things or thought those things or responded in that way. You can journal, stick it on some post-it notes, vox yourself, talk to a friend, um, make some voice notes in your phone. Uh, you know, carrier pigeons don't work well for that. But uh, you think about and just take note of what you did. And then go back to some of the things that we've been talking about and compare your answers to the different Enneagram triads in those general categories. And it might help you make some better choices in the future. Because here's the thing, 
Christmas is coming, friends. We're not done. <laughs> this is the opening of this season. And I love this season, but it's hard and it's intense sometimes. So take this opportunity to use it as a chance to observe yourself and make some real healthy choices with your family. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving.